Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Whiskey Show 2022. We are here this weekend to try all of our favorite brands, as well as share some of our own wares. We've got the 25-year-old Ben Nevis, the 25-year-old Bamor. I've even got Ian Poshkotch here with the three-year-old Stoysha. Cannot wait to get involved. Let's go. Just stopped off at Belvini with uh, Charlie Metcalf, who is the UK brand ambassador, right? Global, Global brand ambassador, Charlie Metcalf. There we go. So uh, yeah, excited to try a little bit of Belvini. Start off with this guy. So long, long story short, this is a cast I like using for tastings. Okay. Because it's tasty. Okay. Um, it's a 28 year old. Um, 28 year old, 1993 American Oak Hoggy. Okay. Um, Bottled it. it was bottled a while ago, it's been sitting for a bit. It's 58.3, so it probably needs a tick of water, but it's good. It doesn't smell like it does, it smells incredible. You said in bourbon, yeah? Yeah, yeah, refill bourbon. But just like a nice, very like house style example of Balvenia of this age. For sure. <laughs> Stop Charlie draining his car. Yeah, I've, dr I've drank it all. Oh, here he is. Mm. How are you doing? Wow. I know where he lives. This is a winner, Stevie. <laughs> It's basically verging on 30, a cask that Charlie is using for trade shows. So he's basically tapping this cask up, not letting the brand have it, but letting the people have it. He says there's about 50 bottles-ish left, and it's gonna be turning 30 soon enough. So he reckons he'll just finish it off in trade shows. And I have to say, it gives you such an appreciation for the brand, you know? Something that you're not really gonna be able to try, particularly for the everyman walking around here. You get that poured in your glass, complimentary, nice chat with the brand, global brand ambassador. It's pretty fucking special stuff, you know? It makes you really appreciate Balvini and the brand. Now. Now, he gonna... comes back in. What have we got now? A level up, have we? We're, we're trying something pretty bonkers. Okay. So we have 43 year old single cast from the DCS Compendia. Can we, uh, can we get our camera on that? Is, that is some seriously special stuff. This is a pretty crazy, pretty crazy drag. Wow. So it's a single cast we picked back in 2016 uh, to be part of the DCS Compendium. It's a very, very unusual cast. So you can see the color, you'd think it was American Oak. But it's, it's a full Oloroso Sherry Hogshead. But you can see... Second, no, third fill or? Probably don't know. more. Right, for yeah, sure, we don't more. know, okay. There's no, there's no Sherry impact on it at all. Okay. We're just tasting pure European Oak. It's a really unusual whiskey. Really, really interesting. Fascinating. Sorry, you'll have go. to excuse my hands. No, 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 you're all good. Yeah, have a go at that. The, the nose is extraordinary. Wow, it's that's special. cool. Yeah. Like, nice strength on it, too, for the age. It's what, 50... 52.4. 52.4, yeah. So 43, I don't think I've ever tried anything older than 25 from Balvenie, really? you know? Okay. So this is seriously so special. You leveled it up <laughs> severely, yeah. No, nice. Mm. It's big, it's bold on the palate. That is massive. Yeah. But like you say, it's not an Oloroso, not what you would expect. No. No. It's got a lot of that dry, woody spice, yeah. kind of chewy. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. But you've still got the Balvenie notes in there actually carrying it through. So tell us a little bit about what you do with Balvenie so, other than sharing amazing liquid at shows like this. So, so basically my, my role is to, uh, glorious role is to fly around the world chatting about Balvenie with anyone that cares to listen. Cool. Uh, so yeah, a little bit of like this kind of stuff, doing a, like on trade, on trade tastings, trainings, that kind of thing. Uh, obviously a lot of the like social media stuff, so putting together like um, videos on the new releases, uh, doing a bit of the tasting note stuff with David and Kelsey. Um, that kind of thing, so Whoa. everything. This Events, is the whole lot. big, 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 wow. Yeah. It's not Balvenie though, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it it's is, good and good it's thing. like a beast beyond that. So we're at Tobamori in Shakespeare. We are just trying the brand new Tobamori, 21 year old. It's finishing in Sherry for six years. It's just been launched this week. So very, very new expression. 
and it smells delicious. We were talking about Tobimori on our recent podcast. If you haven't seen it, check it out. 12 year old is delicious. This one definitely got that little bit more depth from the sherry. It's still light, still easy going. Mm. I want to say it's Oloroso sherry. It's got quite a, a nuttiness and a dryness to it, actually. What sort of sherry is it? Uh, Oloroso. It is Oloroso, yeah. Really nice, like nutty, sweet, a little bit dry and tannic. It's lovely. So we are here at the Bacardi stand. We've got Krigaliki, Royal Brackler and Aberfeldy. Krigaliki is obviously one of my favorite distilleries, but given we've just launched a Royal Brackler, I wanted to try the new 18 year old. Now, obviously they used to have a 12, a 16 and a 21. They've done a rebranding and they've re-released. This is an 18 year old, exclusively matured in Palo Cotado casks, released at 46%. I'm really excited to try it. It's something that I've been eyeing up for a little while now. Already, the fact they brought the strength up, it really works well. The Palo Cotado kind of integrates really nicely with the kind of fruitiness of Royal Brackler. We're obviously just about to release a 15 year old single cask. So it's kind of interesting for me to compare it to the core range and what they've got on offer. This is arguably the closest in, uh, in age to what we're releasing. And it's delicious, very different to what we've released. Obviously ours is uh, sort of higher strength and it's just a bourbon hogshead. Whereas this is Palo Cotado Sherry. Adds that sort of little bit of depth, a little bit of tannins, sort of plummy fruits to it as well. But the fact that they brought it up in strength really works well. The King's Own Whiskey, I tell you what, this is fit for a king. Slan Chavar. So we're here at the Glenfiddich stand, as you can see, with Mark. He is the Scottish ambassador for Glenfiddich. We're going to try a couple of drams. This is the new experimental series. It is indeed. It's uh, Orchard. So we experimental series for us is something where we've got a little bit of a playground to mess around with whiskey. Literally yep. that. You know, we're a long-standing company, lots of experience. We've got our core range, 12, 15, 18. Yep. We've got our grand series, 21, 23, 26. Yep. But we like to have fun with whiskey. We're always experimenting, pushing the boundaries. And this is the latest one, number five. So, Orchard Experiment, what makes it different? Um, we worked with a family in Somerset, the Temperleys, who create something called Pomona. And in Northern France, they do something called Pomo, which is a mix of uh, Calvados yep, and cider. Okay. Marry it together. That's what I was thinking. When I yeah. saw Orchard Experiment, my initial thought was cider. So we are talking apples here. Yeah, we are indeed. So this is a product which they make as an aperitif. It's 20% ABV. It's married for a couple of years in European casks, sherry butts. Lovely. And we took the sherry casks from them. Fantastic. So this is a aged Glenfiddich, which we then transferred into those casks for three to four months. Which okay. is typically the finish for Glenfiddich. And this is a non-age statement whiskey? Non-age statement. The experimental series is all about... Flavour. Flavour, getting people excited about the dram, not having to be encumbered by age statements or cask types. It's just like fun. So the one thing with Glenfiddich is our new make spirit is all about freshness. It's got that kind of apple pear, vibrancy to it. What this brings is a kind of amplification. Turns it all up, yeah. turns it right up. Right up to 11. Yeah, I quite like that, that's delicious. The main thing with the experimental series is to create whiskies which are approachable. We are 135 years old. We've been there. I've had people come up to the stand and say things like, Glenfiddich, it's a supermarket whiskey. We're in 185 countries around the world. Yeah. 
when you get that kind of yoke around your neck, it becomes difficult to get people to be excited about your brand. Definitely. The experimental series, without a doubt, has created a, an opportunity for us to talk to not just new whiskey drinkers, people coming to the show like this, which are excited to try something new, but also the existing whiskey drinkers who perhaps have an idea of what Glenfiddich is. Yep. And the experimental series has allowed us an opportunity to say, hey. Break out of that cage a bit. Yeah. I have to say, this is, as what I would imagine is relatively young Glenfiddich in the grand scheme of things goes, this stands heads and shoulders above your 12. Personally, yeah, I find the 12 quite difficult to get behind. This, like you say, does bring out those orchard fruits that you kind of, well, that I search for in the 12, that I it's find. It's a trademark. And this, is, and this is it. It's now really accessible, really delicious. Whiskies like this, you pick up and you go, yeah, that's good, I like that. No more need for analytics, you just enjoy it. Yeah. Good, yeah, 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 yeah I love it. Well, anyway. Cheers to that, I, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. This is a good one. Thirteen-year-old Dalyuane, exclusively matured in a cognac butt, which, as Matt says, very obscure, and very delicious. I have to say, yeah. So you say, sort of, good whiskies at good prices. Yeah. Give us a little rundown as to what sort of pricing you're looking at for these. And you said, obviously, you've launched with four and one coming. Sure. How regularly can we see releases from you? Sure. So we're brand new, uh, regularity releases. Hopefully it goes really well. We're planning monthly releases. Mm -hmm. These four just came out. This one's coming next month. Fantastic. Prices vary from $59.95 for these two, $69.95 for these two, okay. and $89.95 for the 17-year-old one. Pretty reasonable, as you say. Cool, okay. This is delicious. Now, Matt, you're obviously the cask selector for Bimba, yeah. amongst other things. Yeah. What's your role within all of it, if you would share with us? Sure, so I have many hats. So Bimba, cask selection, cask assessment, the art of marketing. Mm -hmm. For Dunfail, I'm director of whiskey creation. So what does that mean? That's well, cool. It means, A, I'm now uh, an independent bottler, which I never thought I'd ever be that. <laughs> I've spent most of my life talking about other people's whiskey, and. Now it's time for them to have a crack at me. When it comes to done fail though, uh, once we're up and running, I'll be specifying and purchasing the wood, coming up with the wood policy, following that maturation forward, looking after the cast, deciding what we're doing with it. When we get to the point of having whiskey, it'll be up to me to put forward the whiskies that we're gonna bottle. <laughs> be those either single cast selections or blendings and batteries. So that's a little bit down the line. So in a sense, my job sort of scales that I'm doing this now, yep. end of the year, buying some casks, three years time, putting them together. Fantastic. Lots to look forward to. Lots to look forward yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, it sounds like quite a road you're on. Let's move on to the next and then I'll give you a little right, cheers. So we're gonna do three, so we do... Did the Dalyuane. Dalyuane, we'll do Glen Elgin. Thank you, sir. I love a Glen Elgin. Always good. Always love a Glen Elgin. Okay, and how old is this one? Uh, this one is 13 again. Um, Detail Retail Hoggy. Detail Retail Hoggy. 52-ish percent. 52-ish. Um, still got that fruity toffee. A little bit of spice coming from that, that, that Retail. Cool, so we are here at the end of the Whiskey Show 2022, just having a bit of a catch up with Ian. Ian, you had a nice show? Ah, oh, fantastic. We've been some amazing brands here. Seriously cool stuff. What's your highlight thus far? Ah, oh, so there's been a few. I had an unreleased prototype 31-year-old Glendronic in PX. Absolutely wow. beautiful. Cool. Uh, in terms of release stuff, the 30-year-old Mortlach that's been finished in three different casks, only about 350 bottles. Absolutely amazing. Loved okay. it. Okay. Well, Ian's obviously been off sampling all the good stuff without me, so I'll need to catch up with you on that in a moment. I have to say, I've tried some seriously cool stuff as well. Glenn Fiddick, Mark has got that seriously cool bottle that I don't think they're ever going to release tucked away underneath. Yeah, 26 year old, seriously sherry Glenn Fiddick. Awesome. Uh, Chichaboo's currently in my glass. They're, uh, is it the, the dis double distilleries? 
really, really cool. And then I also managed to luckily grab a little bit of the Karazawa 50. So really, really cool weekend. I mean, that was 350 pounds a dram, I mean, right? it's just crazy money. And that's a loss leader at that price. So yeah, something that you wouldn't normally get to try. Very lucky, very happy indeed. What a weekend, right? Oh, fantastic. I mean, almost everything I've tried has been amazing. Delicious. Incredible under the counter drams as well. Also had a fantastic time with Glen Cadden. They had a bunch of cask samples oh, as well. Cool. So there's stuff that's never going to be released. Lovely. You know, it's only at shows like this that you can come to where you can ever have stuff like this. It makes it so much more special. And this is the thing, people should be coming down to the whiskey show. You need to get involved. Find out more about the brands that you love. Out of interest, how has the Stoischer been uh, re received? You've obviously been walking around with yeah. our three-year-old Stoischer sample. People like it? Everyone's loved it. I mean, they've looked at it and they've gone, this is fucking tasty whiskey, right? right? No one's gone, oh, it's three years old. No one said, oh, but it's not quite grass around or anything. They've gone, right, yeah, you've, you've, done, you've done the business here, boys. Cool, great. I have to say, I've been walking around with the 25-year-old Ben Nevis, 25-year-old Babore. It has been extremely well received. Yeah. I think we've got some cool releases coming out for Christmas. Cannot wait to share them with everybody. Fantastic. Really, really so cool good. stuff. Anyway, look, if you're at home, obviously, keep posted with what we're doing. If you're, on the, you're looking for our newest whiskeys, get onto the website, sign up to our mailing list. Otherwise, like and subscribe, whether you're on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook. We've got loads more really cool and interesting content coming. Nice one, Ian. Cheers, mate.